supporters of California's Proposition 8, the banned same-sex marriage, have filed an appeal to overturn the California Supreme Court's decision yesterday. The court said the ban on same-sex marriage in California is unconstitutional. Opponents of gay marriage took their case to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals based in San Francisco. Mark my words. If, if marriage can mean anything, then marriage ultimately will mean nothing. They are asking a stay on the judge's ruling to keep gay couples from getting married while the decision is on the appeal is pending. The judge gave both sides until Friday to make arguments on whether or not to hold his ruling while it goes through the appeals process. Sumutala sa iba't ibang bahagi po ng Amerika, reaksyon sa makasaysayang desisyon ng California kahapon. Our correspondents bring you the scenes from Los Angeles and New York. Magpumpiso po tayo ngayon sa San Francisco. Kenny Espinosa was there. Kenny. Just thousands of gays, lesbians, and their supporters took their celebration to the streets of San Francisco last night, celebrating victory in their fight for equal rights. Thousands held a victory march from Castro Street, the gay district in San Francisco, to City Hall after a federal judge overturned Proposition 8, which banned same-sex marriage. The federal judge says the voter-approved law does not give enough reason why gays and lesbians should be denied marriage licenses. For better or for worse, the rich and the poor, and sick with them in health, in good times and bad, from this day forward. Fighting for equal rights is nothing new to lesbian couple Shirley Tan and Jay Mendoza. Tan is fighting deportation urging the federal government to allow same-sex couples the same immigration rights granted to opposite-sex couples. Well, hopefully, and I'm positive that it will come sometime soon, I hope. Mendoza and Tan's marriage in 2004 was declared null and void. They plan to marry again. A very anotadita. It's very exciting. We can now get married. <laughs> Filipinos who are gay and single here say the overturning of Proposition 8 gives them a chance to one day settle down. I would like, I would like the, the right to do that if I, so, if I choose to do that. It's not just between a man and a woman. It's, you know, women can love women, men can love men. It's love is love, you know. It's, um, it's, it's a great thing we can celebrate this. Same celebrations in L.A. Steve Angelus tells us more. Steve. Kenny, it was a matter of celebration for gay rights activists in West Hollywood as they welcomed the turning point in their battle for same-sex marriage. Demand nation for equal rights. Any lesbian Filipino say the court's decision gives them hope that they can be treated like heterosexual couples. John Root and Ian Shapiro have been together for four years. A year ago, they became domestic partners which they say is not a substitute for marriage. We get to be a part of what society's, you know, about the marriage and about, like, equality, and it gives us the more rights that we've been wanting as a married couple, um, you know, than domestic partnership. You know, there's very limited um, rights that we get. The clear uh, indication of our rights as a community uh, regarding uh, human rights also, and protection of our rights. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and West Hollywood Mayor John Hillman joined Ruth, Shapiro, and hundreds of supporters to celebrate the decision. However, advocates aren't fully really celebrating yet. The decision is expected to be appealed all the way to the Supreme Court. This is going to be a first step on a very long process. Obviously, uh, this will probably be appealed all the way to the Supreme Court. But we have to take every victory as a step closer to full equality for all LGBT people. Gay communities outside of California celebrated this triumph as their own. Don Tagala is in New York. Don. Steve, same-sex marriage supporters here believe this is just the beginning of an outpouring of support for same-sex marriage legalization across the nation. Same-sex marriage supporters celebrated by offering flowers at the footsteps of the United States Supreme Court in Lower Manhattan. Masaya ako kasi uh, 
nagtanggap kami ng victory na, na a very important victory. Same-sex marriage supporters here believe the California Supreme Court's ruling that Proposition 8 is unconstitutional is just the beginning. It's unconstitutional in one state. It should be unconstitutional for the entire country. Francis Eric Montessa and his boyfriend Dan have been together for three years. They are now engaged, but same-sex marriage is not yet legal in the state of New York. Unfortunately, it was defeated here in New York State. Uh, hopefully, it'll be brought up again. And eventually, it isn't just New York, but hopefully the rest of the country. The couple plans to get married in Washington, D.C., where gay marriage is allowed in spring next year. The governor said he, New York State will accept marriages from other states, but it's really, I don't feel 100% there until all rights that heterosexual couples have. It strikes me as strange because in New York we recognize marriages from out of state that are uh, same-sex unions, but we ourselves don't have a law that uh, allows uh, gay people here to, to marry. So it seems um, hopefully a matter of time. Even New York Governor David Patterson applauded yesterday's ruling against California's ban and says he believes that same-sex marriage will soon be allowed not only in New York but across the U.S. Back to you, Jill. Maraming salamat sa Eugenia Espinosa, Steve Angelos, at Narsa Dalla. Sa pagbabalik ng balik sa Amerika.